Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome to one of the greatest rivalries in all of sports. We are live from Soldier Field for this monumental clash between the Chicago Bears and those Green Bay Packers. These teams have been going head to head for over 90 something years. They've been going at it since 1921. They have over 22 combined NFL championships. We're not talking Super Bowls. We're talking about NFL championships. They do combine for five Super Bowls, but more importantly, they have combined to put over 48 players in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Some of the greats will be in this ballgame from Brett Favre to Reggie White. Some of today's stars like Clay Matthews on the Chicago Bears side. You have Devin Hester. You have Brandon Marshall. Of course, you have some of the classic players like my man Dick Buckus, my man Mike Singletary, and of course, Brian Erlacher. And of course, they also have a Today star on defense, and that's Charles Tillman. But nonetheless, let's get this ball game underway. The kickoff is here, and this ball game is set to go as Devin Hester is going to receive this one deep in his end zone. He decides to take a knee, and here comes Sid the Kid, Sid Luckman. Let's see what he can do versus Green Bay Packers defense. Second and four, Green Bay comes out with one D lineman, five linebackers, and five DDs. Luckman looking to throw down the left sideline, and that pass is going to get batted away. And the Bears are forced now to a third down situation. Third and four from the 26 yard line. Luckman on the center. Gail Sayers is the only man in the backfield. Luckman looking, throwing over the middle, going to find Galt, and he's going to get stopped inches short of the first down. And the Bears will be forced to punt, and that's going to give Green Bay some excellent field position and an early chance to take the lead in this one. Antonio Freeman feels the ball at his 25, gets up to the 34-yard line, and here comes Brett Favre. Some of us don't like him for how his uh, career ended, not knowing if he wanted to play or not to play, but he is still a legend of the game. Third and five, shotgun formation, Favre. Draw play to Dorsey Levins, up that guy, and Dorsey Levins going to pick up the first down, move those chains. First and 10 from the 45-yard line, Favre. Shotgun formation, stepping back in the pocket, looking for Horning, and he's going to find him, and Paul Horning is down the sideline. Inside the 35, down at the 31-yard line, gain the 24 on the screen pass. Second and nine, Favre has time, looking, finds Antonio Freeman, who makes a man miss, but then gets brought down by Frazier, but not until he picks up a solid gain on the play. So it's third and four from the 25-yard line, Favre. Drops back, looking to pass, going to find his man. That is James Lofton, gain of 12. First down Packers, nice connection on the pass play with Favre to Lofton. So it's second and seven from the nine now. Single back formation, got receivers bunched up to the right side. Favre, drops back, throws the ball, and that's going to be intercepted by Charles Tillman. He has some room to run. Pass the 20, up to the 30, crosses the 50. Mark Shamar is giving chase. Tillman inside the 30. Tillman will score. Touchdown, Bears. Pick six by Charles Tillman as he read the eyes of Brett Favre perfectly and took the ball to the crib, hitting them with that Hussein Bolt, and he hit him with that Hussein Bolt speed, that Hussein Bolt dance, and he was off to the races as soon as he caught that pass, and nobody from Green Bay was going to catch Charles Tillman as he took that one to the crib, and he's going to give the Bears the early 7 Nothing leaves. So the Packers, they're going to get the ball back. We'll see if Brett Favre can redeem himself. First and 10 from the 21-yard line. Brett Favre is on the center. Play action pass. Throws the ball to the flat to Finley. And Brian Erlach is there to wrap him up after a gain of two. Second and eight now from the 23. Favre looking, throwing. Finds Paul Horning on the screen again. And again, Frazier is there to bring him down. And he's actually going to lose a yard on the play. Third and nine now from the 22-yard line. Favre. Under pressure, throws it to the flat to Mark Shamar, and he gets chopped down by about three Chicago Bears, and the Packers are going to be forced to punt quick three and out for Green Bay. So Chicago already has a 7 nothing lead. Let's see if they can add to it. Luckman steps up in the pocket, throws the ball over the middle, and that's going to be caught by Brandon Marshall, gain of nine on the play. Second and one from the 45 to give us to Peyton, trying to get around the outside, but that defense of the Packers is there. Davis gets his first tackle of the ball game. He's fired up, trying to keep the Packers into this ball game in the early going. Third and five from the 41. Luckman looking, throwing. Pass gets batted away, and now the Bears going three and out. The defense of the Packers holds, and now Brett Favre has another chance to probably tie this game up or at least lead the Packers down to a field goal. James Lofton over the middle, picks up a gain of nine, his second catch of the ball game. 
third and one from the 37 now. Far in the shotgun. Looking to pass on third down. He's going to find Antonio Freeman in the flat. Makes a man miss. Finally gets brought down at the 47-yard line. And that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. A pick six thrown by Brett Favre. Intercepted by Charles Tillman is the difference so far in this one. 7 nothing is the score as we start the second quarter. First and 10 from the 47 now. Favre drops back the pass. Looking, throwing to the... And that's going to be intercepted by Richardson. And that's going to be Brett Favre's second interception of the first half. That is not good. That's an understatement right there. As Richardson steps in front of the pass intended for Mark Schmer. And now Sid Luckman in the Bears offense has a chance to add to this lead. First and 10 from the 47 to give us to Peyton. Peyton's going to go nowhere. He gets met in the backfield by Ray Nitschke. Two Hall of Famers going at it today. Walter Peyton and Nitschke. Third and eight now from the 48. Luckman looking. Going to take a shot deep. And that's going to get batted away. And now the Bears once again go three and out. Back-to-back -back possessions. The Bears had a chance to add to their early 7-0 lead. But they have failed. They have gone three and out. The Packers defense holds again. And Brett Favre is back on the field. Drops back to pass. And that pass is nearly intercepted. Gets batted away by Gale. Trying to hit Don Hudson. But you can see number 24 Gale gets in front of the pass. And knocks that one down. Third and 10. Ball is on the 20 yard line. 8.20 to go in the second quarter. Favre drops back, and that pass will be intercepted by Gale, and he has a return up past the 20 down to the 16 yard line, and that's Brett Favre's third interception of the first half. You have to win. Are they going to pull him for Aaron Rodgers or maybe Bart Starr? Who knows? Second and six. The kid is to Walter Payton, and Payton's going to pick up a gain of three. Gets brought down by Harris. Shotgun formation on third down and three for the Bears to give us to Walter Payton. And Walter Payton goes up the gut and picks up the first down. Second and goal from the five. Luckman drops back the pass. Looking to the flat. And that's going to be intercepted by Adderley. And he's off to the races down the left sideline in front of his Packers bench. Passes the 50. Inside the 40. Down inside the 20. 10 5. Touchdown Packers as Herb Adderley gets in front of the Sid Luckman pass and took that thing straight. To the crib. It looked like Sid Lemon was trying to hit Mike Dicker. And Herb is having none of that. As he took that one to the crib. Almost 100 yards to the house. Third and five now as the Bears take back over. The score is 7-7. Gall over the middle for the second catch. Only 14 yards on the day so far. The speedster needs to get going. These Both of these offenses need to get going. That's an understatement right there. First and 10 from the 35 now. Sid Luckman looking. Setting up the screen pass to Walter Payton. And Walter Payton trying to pick up anything. But he's only going to be able to pick up four on the play. Walter Payton has been kept in check so far today. Second and six. Luckman drops back. Looking. Throwing to Gail Sayers. And Gail Sayers out of the backfield for a gain of 13 through the air. Gail Sayers getting his first uh, touch of the football. And that's going to turn into a Bears first and 10. Check out the replay. It was just a simple wheel route. And he was able to beat the linebacker and pick up a fresh first and 10. Chicago spreads the field on second and 10. Luckman going to the flat to Willie Galt and he's going to pick up a gain of six and they're going to hustle back to the line of scrimmage. Third and four from the 42 yard line. A minute 45 to go in the first half. Shotgun formation. Luckman has time. Decides to tuck it and run and try and pick up the first down. Got away from one tackler but won't get away from the second and the Bears are going to be forced to punt. Give the ball back to the Packers. First down for the Packers as he's going to find James Lofton. Nice pass by Brett Favre, picking up a gain of nine. Second and inches now, man in motion. That's Chamura. Ball is on the 30-yard line. Favre drops back, looking for Sterling Sharp. And Sterling Sharp, the brother of Shannon Sharp, picks up the first down. And now the Packers are moving the ball down the field. Third and two. Taking a shot deep on third down is Favre to Don Hudson. And he threw that one so far out of reach. It wasn't funny. As we take a look at the halftime stats, both of these teams are fairly even matched. The score reflects that as it is 7-7. Both quarterbacks have thrown pick sixes. Let's see if they can turn it around and let's see if these offenses can get going in the second half. Second and nine from the 29. Man in motion. Farber's in the center. They give us to Paul Horning. Trying to get around the outside. He's going to get met by Dick Buckus, his third tackle of the ball game. Third and four now. Favre 
Drops back the pass, looking, throws the ball to the left side, going to find Hudson, and Don Hudson picks up the first down, his second catch of the ball game. Brett Favre has some decent yardage, but some horrible stats when you're looking at three interceptions with no TDs. Brian Erlacher brings down Paul Horning after a gain of four. Third and six from the 40 now. Favre looking, throwing over the middle, and that one's almost intercepted, and the Packers are going to be forced to punt, or maybe they're going to try a long 57-yard field goal, and they will try the 57-yarder. The kick is up, and the kick by Crosby is good, and the score is 10-7. to Packers on top. First and 10 as the Bears take over from their own 21-yard line. Trying to set up the screen to Walter Payton. He has a couple of block blockers in front. Picks up the first down. Nice play call by the OC of the Chicago Bears. Third and four now. Look at me. Looking. Throwing. And Sid, the kid, finds Brandon Marshall who gets both feet in bounds. First down. Bears and check out the replay. And yes, Brandon Marshall is pretty close, but they did rule him in bounds. Third and six to give us to Gale Sayers up that gut. And Gale Sayers going to get stopped two yards short by Darren Sharper who comes up from his safety position. And the Bears are forced to punt again. So the Packers take over. Horning and Taylor in the backfield. They give us to Horning. And he's going to get chopped down in the backfield by Frazier who gets his fourth tackle of the ball game so far. This cornerback can come up and deliver the boom in the backfield. Shotgun formation on second and 13. Far over the middle to Chamorro who makes the catch. Gets brought down by Erlacher but not until he picks up a gain of 11. Third and two and the Packers keep it on the ground to Paul Horning. And Horning is going to pick up the first down. Gets brought down by Mike Singletary who makes his first tackle of the ball game. But it was a little bit too late as Paul Horning already picked up enough yards for the first down. First and 10 from the 23. Favre looking to pass. Throws the ball to James Lofton. Makes the catch. Takes a hit. But picks up the first down. His fourth catch of the ball game. 54 yards in total. And James Lofton is looking to have a big second half to help these Packers increase their lead. First and 10 from the 47. Favre looking. Throwing to the right side. Going to find Don Hudson. And Don Hudson gets his third catch of the ball game. And the Packers are marching down the field. First and 10 from the 32. Paul Horning up that guy. And Paul Horning is going to pick up the first down. Nice play right there by Green Bay. Favre drops back the pass. Looking. Don Hudson over the middle. Makes a catch. They got smacked down by Brian Erlach. And that's going to do it for the third quarter of play. We're going to start the fourth quarter with Green Bay marching. Third and one from the seven. Now Favre drops back. Looking. Throwing. Don Hudson first down Packers as Don Hudson makes the big catch on third and one. Second to go now as Paul Corning gets into the end zone. Touchdown Packers and the Packers go up 17 to 7. The Bears are down by 10. What can they do? They haven't been able to do anything offensively all day. First and 10. Sid takes a shot deep and that's going to be intercepted by Al Harris. Oh my goodness, Al Harris gets the interception, and now the Bears are really in trouble. Second and 11, Favre drops back the pass, and that pass hits the grass. Third and 11, and the Bears need to get off the field right here. Third and 11, now can set the screen pass, and the Bears are going to shut that down, and now the Packers are forced to punt. Sid Luckman and his Bears offense gets another chance. First and 10, looking for McKinnon, and he's going to make the catch his third of the ball game. That's going to set up first and 10 from the 50 for the Chicago Bears. Packers have five DBs on the field for this first and 10 play. Sid Luckman drops back, looking to pass, throws the ball to the left side, and that's going to be intercepted by the Heisman Trophy winner, Charles Woodson, and he's up to the 30-yard line, and that's where Brett Favre is going to lead the Packers offense back out to probably put this ball game away. The Packers defense steps up again. This time it's Charles Woodson with the big-time interception. So it's second and 10, and there's no running back on the field for the Packers as they look to pass. Brett Favre is under pressure, and he throws that one away. Got pressure from Richard Dent, and now it's going to be third and 10. Can Favre be clutch on third and 10? Favre over the middle, and that pass gets batted away by Charles Tillman. And Charles Tillman, excuse me, was on Sterling Sharp. He had a great jam to start the play, and then ended the play with by batting the ball away. So now it's first and 10 for the Bears. He's going to find Brandon Marshall. Move those chains. Sid Luckman to Marshall. That's a pretty good connection. First and 10. Luckman looking under pressure. Going to Brandon Marshall again. And Brandon Marshall is making plays. And what can the Packers do to stop that big time receiver? They give it to Walter Payton who hesitates for a second. Then he finds the hole and picks up a gain of seven. 
Second and three now. Lookman looking, has time, steps up in the pocket. Going to find McKinnon again, and he's going to pick up the first and goal. Second and goal from the one now. Our formation to give is to walk the Payton who gets into the end zone. Touchdown sweetness. Touchdown Bears. And now the Bears are only down by three. Second and ten now. 2.52 to go in the fourth quarter. Going to find James Lofton who doesn't know which way is up as he just runs out of bounds. Third and eight from the 22 now. Favre has time. Throws the ball. And that pass is going to be intercepted by Frazier. And he's going to have some room to run. Gets past the 40. Up to the 30. Finally gets knocked out of bounds at the 23. Y'all with a bonehead decision by Brett Favre who throws his fourth interception of the ball game and now the Bears have a chance to take the lead for the first time since that pick six early in the first quarter second and ten now look me drops back looking throwing he's gonna find Mike Dick guy Mike Dick guy picks up the first down I am Mike welcome to the ball game First and 10 from the 13 now. Luckman looking, throwing. Brandon Marshall in the end zone makes the catch. Touchdown, Bears. And the Bears take the lead back from the Packers as Brandon Marshall is doing his dance in the end zone. Soldier Field is going crazy. The coach don't know what to do. So he's going to have a stone face as Brandon Marshall got into the back of the end zone. Makes the catch. Pretty pass by Sid Luckman. And now the Bears defense got to make a stop. Third and four. Packers drops back to pass. Favre going to find Don Hudson, and they cross the 50. Ball is placed at the 45. Y'all as the Packers hurry back to the line of scrimmage. First and 10. Favre from the shotgun. Looking to pass. Has time running out of time, and he's going to get brought down by Big Richard Dent. And the Packers going to have to hustle back to the line of scrimmage again. There's a minute 05 to go in the fourth quarter. Second and 18. Favre looking, throwing under pressure again, and take a shot deep. And that pass hits the grass. Fourth and 18 now. Last chance for the Packers. They got to pick this up. And he won't get a chance to let that one fly as Atkins gets in there. And that's going to wrap this ball game up. The Packers are going to fall 21 to 17. They had a 10-point lead deep into the fourth quarter. Sid Luckman threw two fourth quarter interception. But nonetheless, the Packers walk up out of here with the L. And the Bears in Chicago can celebrate a win over the hated rival was the Green Bay Packers. It was a defensive slugfest for the most for the majority of the game, but the offense got going finally in the fourth quarter. Well that's gonna wrap this one up. Until next time I am your man Miles Dawkins 24-7 and I'ma see y'all later.